Good morning, Sims and Darcy. My name is Astrid, and here are your morning announcements. Students who are attending the Remembering the Children Commemoration Ceremony on Parliament Hill on Monday, September 30th, for the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation and Orange Shirt Day, are asked to hand in their completed permission forms to Miss Piercy in the Goose Lodge. Any students who are still interested in joining the Peru trip but miss the information meeting or deadline are asked to contact Miss Jessica White in the gym office ASAP. There are a few spaces left. Miss White will accept applications until Monday, September 23rd at 3.30 p.m. If you can't find Miss White, you can leave your application at reception. Students who plan to register for the band trip to Toronto in April 2025 must ensure they sign up before the end of the day today. Students can visit the educator's website and enter tour code TSTJNK5. For further inf information, please contact Ms. Ball or visit the Teams page. If you signed up for the Triathlon Club, there will be a meeting at 4 p.m. after school on Monday, September 23rd in room 346. Please bring your running shoes. If you haven't signed up and are interested in joining the Triathlon Club, please see Ms. Sove in room 346. Hey everyone, the chess club is starting up. Whether you are new to the game or an expert, all students from all grades are welcome. Sessions will be held every day two and seven in room 380 at lunch with Mr. F and Mr. DiSalvio. Hope to see you there. Cadet girls volleyball tryouts start Monday from 3.45 p.m. to 5.15 in the Sims gym. Reminder, Benjamin girls volleyball tryouts start today after school at 3.45 p.m. in the Sims gym. If you have any questions, see Ms. Wade in the gym office or Ms. Stone in student services. Attention students, please be informed that the food and travel club scheduled for this Friday has been canceled. The club meeting has been rescheduled for Monday instead. The inclusive girls rugby team is starting up and new and experienced players are all encouraged to come out on Monday. Practices will be Mondays and Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on the grass field until the end of October. We will teach the whole sport to you, so no experience is necessary. Dress for the weather, bring your running shoes, and a water bottle. Hope to see you there! The Survivor teams have qualified and it's time for the first official Survivor Challenge taking place this Friday at lunch. When you arrive in the gym, seven chairs will be spread out around the room. Underneath each chair, there'll be a number. At each team's station, you will find a piece of paper and a pen. Survivors will assign one team member to take notes. The others will be runners. Survivors must take turns running to a chair, looking underneath to see the number and running back to their note taker who will write it down. Each of the numbers represents a different letter of the alphabet. Teams must decode the numbers into letters and then unscramble the letters to correctly spell the winning word. The first place teams win immunity and cannot be eliminated next week. The last place teams will be eliminated and their survivor journey has ended. Who will survive? Join us on Friday to find out. It is important that all of you and the future generation what happened to us and that you hear us and acknowledge how this affected Inuit people and other indigenous people. But today I see change, especially with our young generation. And being here with you today and all those watching brings us hope, hope for healing, hope for reconciliation, and hope for a better future. Thank you, Sims and Darcy, and have a great day.